I was lucky in the sense that I was on a trajectory that was purely focused on film and television. And I always wanted to be uh, part of the movies, even as a little kid. Uh, but I grew up in a very book-friendly household. My stepfather ran a mail-order, rare and used book dealer kind of service. My mother was and still is an editor for small publishing companies. So books were around. They were just something that you know you picked up whenever you felt like it and read. Uh, my stepfather's interest was in fantasy, horror, and science fiction. So when I was a kid, I remember we had in our little converted basement 5,000 volumes of uh, books by people like Asimov and Heinlein and Bradbury and King and Kuntz and all those things were just readily available and, and, and I got really into them as a teenager especially but always wanted to be on that trajectory, that film trajectory because I was, you know, I was in awe of the movies. I came out to L.A. after graduation, and I was doing what other wannabe writers do. I was writing specs and working jobs I didn't want to be in and uh, trying to get noticed and trying to get sold. And, uh, and it took me 10 years, but, you know, uh, I was able to get noticed. I never thought about it that way, but yeah, I, I mean, I guess books in a way were the family business growing up. I mean, that books were what put food on our, on our table when I was growing up. And that's, it's interesting you say that. I've never really thought about it that way, but yes. And I, I think it's something that I resisted. Uh, I always wrote. I always wrote short stories. I was always a voracious little reader as a teenager. I don't think that Pride and Prejudice and Zombies created the mashup. I just think that it popularized it. I think that there were mashups before, and there were certainly people blending genres and and writers way better than me and, and far longer ago who were playing with the idea of mixing fantasy with horror or mixing science fiction with, uh, with romance. I think that I just happened to do it in a very loud and obnoxious way, and I was lucky enough to do it at a time where people were receptive to it. Yeah. It's vampire. Yeah. I was going on a book tour all over the country, and no matter what bookstore I was in, I would see two displays in the front of the store. A Lincoln display of all these Abraham Lincoln books, and a Twilight or Vampire table display. And I sort of cynically said, man, if you could combine those two things, you would be onto something. And so what I did is I researched the real life of Lincoln, and I fell in love with the real story, the, the superhero origin story, the gothic tale that is his real life. And then it just became sort of a natural way for me to add vampires to it.